next secret the wise men tried to probe was perpetual motion. And our cartoonist, Joe Noble, shows you the most famous of these crazy notions. The wheel was equipped with hinged and weighted levers. It was thought that the difference in the leverage would always pull one side down and send the other side up, forever and ever. But it didn't quite work out like that, at least uh, not forever. Then there was the machine with weighted balls in curved compartments. It was an interesting experiment, but though it was motion, it wasn't perpetual. By this time, the problem was becoming a little tiresome. So Bishop Wilkins evolved the idea of an iron ball and a lodestone. The theory was that the ball would be attracted to the lodestone, drop through the trap, and keep on being attracted and dropped uh, until the proverbial cows came home. But he'd forgotten that the power that pulled the ball could also hold it up. Many attempts were based on what was called the hydrostatic paradox. It was thought that the weight of mercury in the big vessel would force the lighter column up the thin tube to overflow forever and a day. But as fluid always finds its own level, although the price of it may rise or fall according to whatever Chancellor of the Exchequer is in office, that didn't work either. But the nearest approach to perpetual motion is the wonderful radium motor. The diagrams show how it works. In this reconstruction, you'll notice that the parts are really very simple. But as the possibilities of radium have not yet been fully explored, it's difficult to say how near to the solution it gets. Each leaf is charged with electricity to the same extent and each violently repels the other. The leaves touch the contacts and the charge runs away to earth. So the scientists think it may go on for, uh, well, <laughs> yes, you've said it. And off we go 